let's make the cephala punch from the Kraken rum. The first thing we need to do to make this drink is crush some ice. I've got my crusher, I've got my crusher container, I'm gonna crush it, I'll be right back with you. Ice crushed, I'm gonna put that in my shaker. With all that ice in there, I'm gonna try and get equal parts rum and pineapple juice in. I'm going for four ounces of each. Wish me luck. Now we're gonna give that a flash shake and then open pour it into our tiki glass. I am gonna to top this off with more crushed ice. I'll be right back with you. Ice crushed, let's top this off. Great. Now, there is no garnish listed for this drink. The website does show some pineapple leaves in it. I don't, my pineapple leaves didn't turn out very good this time, so I'm not gonna bother with the garnish, but I am gonna put a cocktail umbrella in to elevate it and a straw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We almost forgot the grenadine. A splash of grenadine on top. I don't know how much of a splash is, so I'm gonna slow pour. I do um, make my own grenadine. The recipe on my website, or my website, on my YouTube channel does uh, make a two to one grenadine. For a slow pour like this, I prefer a one to one, so use the same recipe, but cut the sugar in half. Maybe a little bit more. Now my umbrella. And there you have it, the cephala punch. Drink with good spirits. See, even the dogs think this is too much rum.